Hello and welcome everyone. Today's topic will be the skins and cosmetic situation in Unturn 2 or also known as Unturn 4.0 and I think we can all agree that we are hyped for Unturn 2 but there are some topics that need to be discussed and I think that the cosmetic situation is one of them. In this video I will talk about how the implementation of cosmetics and skins will possibly be different in Unturned 2 and talk about our current skin situation. First of all, you may ask yourself, but what will happen to my skins when Unturned 2 comes out? Well, we know that current Unturned and Unturned 2 are separate games on Steam resulting in two different Steam inventories. That means you won't have your current skins in Unturned 2, but you can still use them in Unturned 3.0. Furthermore, the new Unturned will have a new game engine and that leads to more complex and detailed weapon models, meaning that most skins from current Unturned won't fit to the new gun models. This is because most skins have a texture specifically designed for the weapon model, especially workshop skins, and because of that they can't be transferred over that easily. And I personally don't think that Nelson will port any skins from 3.0 to the new Unturned, but this may change with future updates. But let me ask you this. Would you actually want any skins from current Unturned to be ported to Unturned 2? Most skins are relatively neutral and really fit the game, many camo skins for example, they are used in real life too and as a result actually fit into Unturned. Some players complain that the flashy weapon designs ruin the atmosphere of the game and that they don't fit at all. You know what I'm talking about, the so called neon skins. Ever since the day that the Curated Workshop was implemented there has been a steady flow of so-called neon skins to the point where most people simply had enough of them. These skins feature very flashy, futuristic and modern designs and well, in the beginning no one was outraged by them, but as time went on you could see in various forums that a lot of people were visibly annoyed and triggered by these skins because they destroy the immersion of the game. And I mean that's kind of true, you're playing a zombie apocalypse survival game and some people run around with weapons which look like they came from the newest nerf collection. But each to their own, we also have to keep in mind that not everybody hates those skins, there's also a group of people which like them, meaning that Nelson has to find a way to please both sides. Or maybe he actually doesn't need to because Nelson said in a dev blog that Unturn 2 will be completely free to play without any in-game purchases, cosmetics and skins. Taking that into consideration, I think that Nelson will possibly try a new type of cosmetic implementation in Unturn 2 where we don't have to buy our skins but rather get them via in-game achievements or missions. But that leaves one question. How is he gonna pay all the game costs if the only way to support him is a single gold membership payment we can only do once? Other than that, we have no way of supporting Nelson financially. Players noticed this and questioned him about this problem on his forum and in April of 2018 he wrote in his community forum that he is seriously considering an economy redesign. So as of right now it's kinda unclear what Nelson is aiming for. Two possible scenarios would be A, we will have no buyable skins at all, or B, we will get realistic looking skins at most. We know that he's trying to make the survival the main part of Unturned 2 as opposed to current Unturned's PvP meta and that means he will try to keep the game realistic in terms of design. As a consequence we definitely won't get flashy skins as a result but instead maybe get weathered and rustic looking cosmetics or even some of the camos we've seen in Unturned. And I personally think that this is the way to go since Unturned is a zombie survival game keeping the immersion is kinda important. The game Rust is a perfect example where the skins really fit the theme of the game. Rust also is a survival game like Unturned, but the difference in cosmetics is that Rust has worn out looking skins. They all look like they belong in the game and if you look at Unturned on the other hand, well, let's say we have a wide range of skins from futuristic sci-fi to survival-like skins. And to sum it up, Unturned 2's skin situation will most likely be different from our current. Making skins actually fit to the game will probably be really important and I'm interested to see what Nelson has in store for this topic. Well, what's your opinion on this topic? Do you think that Nelson is doing the right thing? Be sure to leave a comment and like the video if you enjoyed it and with that I want to thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.